I will use the equation in your book to compute the correlation coefficient for a data set where we have x values um, and y values. There, our sample size is 5. This is a continuation of the problem for which we computed the regression equation. The equation for Pearson's correlation coefficient, r, is given in your book as you see in this formula. If you notice, the numerator is the numerator for the slope of the line as given in your book. I will go ahead and perform the calculations um, and plug the numbers in this equation to compute r. We have gone through this um, tabular calculation that you see in front of you. Um, we multiplied x times y and generated this column. We, we squared the x values and generated that column. And we uh, squared uh, the, the y column to generate this uh, last column that you see in the table. We're going to be using uh, these numbers in our calculations. So r is equal to n, which is 5, times summation of x times y column, which is 169, minus summation of x times the summation of y, 25 times 32. If you remember when we computed the simple regression equation, we found this to be 845 and this next term to be 800. So essentially for the numerator, we have computed 45. Let's go to the denominator. For the denominator, notice that we need to take a square root. I will erase these for now. Um, because that uh, denominator is pretty, pretty big. Okay, so we have two terms in our denominator. n is 5, and then we multiply that by x, uh, the summation of the x squared column. So here's the x squared column, and the summation of it is 141. So 5 times 141. But whatever that term, that product is, we need to subtract from it the summation of the x's squared. So the summation of the x's is 25. So 25 squared must be subtracted from it. The next term in our denominator relates to the y that variable. So again, we need 5, which is our n, as you see in the equation, multiplied by the summation of the uh, y squared column. The y squared column is 216. So this is a multiplication. And then that's one term by itself. And then we need to subtract from it the summation of the y column which is 32, and we need to square that. And that's our second term. So let's find out what our denominator turns out to be. Under the radical sign, the first term, which relates to the x's, is 5 times 141, 5 times 141, which is 705, and we subtract from it the 25 squared, which is 625. And then we have our 5 times 216, which is 1080, and we subtract from it the 32 squared, which is 1,024. And remember at the, 
uh, in the numerator, we have 45. So that gives us 45 divided by square root of these two numbers multiplied by each other. So 705 minus 625 is 80. And 1080 minus 1024 is 56. So now we have 45 divided by square root of 80 times 56 is 4480. And square root of that is 66.93. I'm rounding. So 45 divided by 66.93 is 0 0.6723. And that is our correlation coefficient. Pearson's product uh, moment correlation coefficient, 0 0.6723, which essentially means that there is a positive relationship between these two variables this is um, equal to, I don't want anybody to get to confuse that with a negative sign. There you go. Um, so that's the positive and um, our correlation coefficient is a positive 0 0.6723 which essentially means that these two variables are positively correlated meaning that as one increases in value the other one also increases or as one decreases then the other one also decreases however the amount of um, the, the strength of the relationship is only moderate because um, we have uh, 0 0.67 as the a numerical value for this uh, relationship. Thank you.